welcome back to Dave Plays Games and we are back in World of Tanks and today we are watching War God Ant in his IS-4 Tier 10 Russian Heavy Tank. Let's see how Anthony gets along on Lakeville. So Ant straight away turns his tank and off he goes. He's going to in head into the city by the looks of it and look to out tank the other tier 10 heavy tanks hope he, hope he gets some support from the other heavy tanks the two E100s and the E5 let's see he's got the T10 coming with him and he's got both E100s the E5s thinking yeah he's coming this way so he's, they've got the heavy tank advantage both T10s coming this way and he's got the FV 4005 coming from both 1390s gone down the middle of the 268 and then the E3, the SU and the Grand Finals M41 have gone to the valley. So a decent setup for this for the team. Decent set decent setup for the team there. Um, looking to try and do some damage early on. E75 coming into the city. He's got the two T10s in front there. Hopefully, will soak up some damage for him. They're both de uh, it's a decent tank, the T10. Um, however, if E100 is here or the FV215B is here, and straight away pushes up to the higher level, trying to get an RT Shadow. Nice first hit from Ant. That's what he's seeing, that's what he's aiming. He's not going into sniper mode. Now he's going into sniper mode to shoot that E100. And he bounces the E100, he's got the smaller gun. Fight, loaded some heat rounds. He knows he's got to fire at the turret of the E100. And he's firing some heat rounds at this guy to make sure. Bang. Rocking back and forth so that E100 doesn't have an easy shot. some big hits into him up to 2200 damage already and now he turns away he's got a heat round loaded is he going to keep with the heat round for the T10 well there's an E75 there so maybe he will yeah he fires that, e that heat round at the E75 and reloads his standard AP rounds angling his tank nicely takes a shot at the T10, he bounced the shot from the T10, the T10's pushed forward again probably thinks he can out, yeah decent reload on the T10 nice big sh shot there he's been tracked he's in a he's, in, he's okay, he's bouncing the bat chat but he couldn't see the bat chat, how he couldn't see the bat chat I don't know, maybe he could uh, bat chat could see the back of his tank Anyway, 4,000 damage already done in this game. His team's lost the T10. E100 and T125 are already on low health. And hasn't lost a single point of health yet. He's loaded with heat. Thinking possibly he was going to fight the E100. Although he's got enough heat to kill the 215B and the E100. So he knows that 215B's got to be loaded. Wastes that he shot. That's the first shot he's missed, I think. He wants to side side scrape on this corner if he can. Looking for the E100. E100 down. E100 is down now. Can he go and kill the 215B with his standard rounds? He pushes forward. 215B gets taken out from behind. Is he now behind the T124 and the E75? E75 turned around and he only tracked him. Still worth the shot. Up to 4,800 damage. He's only got the one kill so far. Where's that T124? Is he trying to keep the E75 in the game? Looks like he is. Doesn't really want to take a shot from that T124. There's the shot. Now he takes some damage. The E4 is fired. The E4 is now looking the wrong way.
and he's in behind the e4 now. The e4 is dead. The e4 has no chance. And can't get the kill. Reload not quite quick enough. e5 came round and took the kill. Bat chat's run away. Unsurprisingly. And knows there's a waffle around here. He can take a shot. The waffle is on a lot of health. And he hasn't got any HE rounds, which would be very useful here. 258, pound and 440 average damage. Decent. 530 average damage into that waffle would be much better. Take him down and probably a shot, one shot quicker. There's the waffle. It takes a shot. Bounces the second. Takes the third. Takes the fourth. Is the waffle going to kill him? Or is the waffle reload? The waffle is reloading. He's fired four shots. And he's reloading. Ant can get after him. Can Ant kill him? Ant's not sure now. The waffle keeps turning his gun back. Missed that shot. Sure that's going to give the waffle maybe time to reload fully. He's done 7,000 damage though. Finishes him off 7,373 damage. Can he get a shot into the Panzer IV over there? No. And he finishes the game on 7,373 damage. Well played, Ant. Conserving your health early on with some very good side scraping in the city against the E100 and the FV215B. Taking out the lower tier heavy tanks E75 and the T10 very efficiently. And then that allowed you to use your health pool against the T124 and latterly the E1, yeah, the Waffle WT Alpha E100. Let's have a look at the post game stats. Okay, so Ant there picked up a Maspi badge and a, and a high caliber amongst other medals in there. 100,000 profit there with his premium in a tier 10 tank. 3,616 experience there. Uh, he picked up 7,373 damage for his two kills, only 1,205 experience, but still a great game. Also a very good game there by the guy in the Object 268 for 5,000 damage and decent games for the T10 and the M40. Again, decent games for the Waffle Tractor and the Yag Pants and the Waffle Tractor, of course, is disappearing from the game, uh, replaced by the Grillo 15. Finally, though, 21 shots fired, 19 hits, 17 penetrations, 4,270 damage blocked by armour. Uh, all close range shooting really. Despite making receiving 104,000 credits, he still only made 23,000, resupplying 50k in his ammunition there. Uh, if you've enjoyed this epic game for man, please subscribe to the channel and please Give it a like and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.